You can feel the energy in this building. They are fired up for game one. Back with that after this. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the New York Mets and the Milwaukee Brewers. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Jay Mack. Well, the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball, it's more of a knuckle curve. And because of that, it's less predictable in terms of the break for the hitter. That makes it that much harder to hit this guy. So Lead just about set. Now the it's the man. right fielder, Roger right fielder. Berry. Number 15. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. So we're off and running in game one. First hit. Hey, no outs here. Hey, strike this guy out, me. Get him yourself. And the right hander deals. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And there's one away. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter. And that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi run home run. Now it's J.D. Davis. First pitch, and he just misses. What a way. No score just getting started top of the first. And one and two. I got the count. One and two. The pitch. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Quick start to this afternoon's action. Two gone. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Luis Robert now. In there, and it's 0-1. And the pitch. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Huff moving under it, this one it, and makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. Down in order go the Mets. And now the Brewers will get their first cuts. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. New inning getting started, and now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And yeah, the right hater back to work. Swings through that. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. And the righty deals. To the left side, but it is well foul. And 
and a swing and a miss. One down. Well, that was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at bat alive. And hitters will tell you that slider, when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite, so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision you don't want to get beat by a fastball, and then you swing and you miss. And you go back to the dugout shaking your head. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Hey, one down now, one down. The pitch. That one's in there. No balls, two strikes. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Swings and misses, and there's two down. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early, but we no, could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Two outs, base is empty. David Dahl up now for the Mets. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, one, one. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever hey, it takes. Come on now. Here we go. Next offering is down low. Got close to the immaculate inning, and he just couldn't find the zone right there. When you think about it, nine straight strikes, so oh, tough to do. Two down Next here. pitch is outside. Aye. And there's the strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Mets. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Top half of the third inning. Jonathan India at the plate. Leading off of the net. The second baseman. Jonathan. Nobody here. Nobody. Mack back to work. Swing and a miss. Oh, and one. one. Right hander kicks deals. Hey. Strike two. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss. And one away. Such a challenge when a guy's got great velocity. He's throwing a slider over 90 miles per hour. You want to be ready to hit that fastball, but that late break just eats you up every time. Stepping in for New York, Brett Beatty. Tap to first. Huff collects it. Steps on first for the out. Batting nine. The catcher, Francisco Alvarez. Now here is Francisco Alvarez. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate good game caller good at framing but it's that big arm that really stands out you come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him we're probably not going to steal anything today so that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits some slogs some home runs can come into play and a swing and a miss and that's that Mets go down quickly. They're down one nothing.
Back here at American Family Field. Start of the fourth. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Roger Berry. Roger. That's a strike. And it's 0-1. Owen two as he waves no at that Two's one. Right. The why to kick the pitch. And a good eye there. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. That one fouled off. And he deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Looking. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Man, that thing just barely got the zone, so you almost can't blame the guy for laying off. I mean, with the way knuckleballs dart all over the place, realistically, that could have just as easily missed by four or five inches. It's such a tough pitch to not overcommit to, so sometimes you just hold up and hope it dances out of the zone. Now it's J.D. Davis. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The Mets hitless yeah, so far in the go. game. And a pitch. Right. Called strike right there. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And a pitch. Bounce back to the mound. Gets it to first. Oh. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Now that is the center fielder, Luis Robert. Two outs, space is empty. And now it's Luis Robert. He popped out his first time. And he swings oh, and misses, one. and it's nothing in one. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Two down here. The pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And the inning is over. And the Mets go down 1-2-3. They trail it here 2-0. here in Milwaukee all set for the start of the inning and stepping in for New York Pete Alonzo uh, come on now Pete the pitch Alonzo. they've got a potent lineup and all when you think about catch. teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit they're right at the top of the list and the 1 liner and that should be extra bases around first digging for two and it's a leadoff double for their first hit of the game. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you now feel back. really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. Now up to hit, Francisco Lindor. Hey, let's hold him right here. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Alonso at second with nobody out. Hey, nobody out now. Comes up empty yep. on the swing. 0 okay. 2 now. And it's fouled away. At the belt and fires. Stays alive. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. The and there's one away. The left David Dahl to the plate. Yeah, we got one. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Hey, here we go. One out and a runner at second. 
Oh and two as he waves at that one. Oh and two. Riding to the plate. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Now two out. The batter number six, second baseman, Jonathan India. And the batter now, Jonathan India, struck out swinging his first time. Hey now, we got two. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Two outs on, and one in scoring position. And he's down 0-2 as he two, swings yeah. through it. The punch out there. That's his second strikeout. Mets leave one. It's 5-0. here at the ballpark all right we go to the top half of inning number six now the third baseman Brett Beatty he swings and misses at the first pitch 0 and 1 well every pitcher wants run support and having a lead is nice but it can be challenging for some guys I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse go after hitters and get quick outs Hey, no one down here. The wind and the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Plays the first here. Now, now one gone in the top of the sixth. Maybe a little bit of overthinking at the plate right there. You want to be patient with knuckleballers and not give into that pitch that's going to dart out of the zone at the very last moment. But that was about as hittable as knuckleballs can get, and he was frozen. And next for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. He was a strikeout victim his first time. In there for strike one. Come on, fellas. Let's go. Swing and a miss. Ball, two That's strike two. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's two away. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what he's working with. And that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Here's the Mets leadoff man, Roger Berry, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And that one fouled off. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it go. seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And he'll one. Swing and a miss. Two down, nobody on. Got him looking. And that is that. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Brewers seven and the Mets nothing. We go to the top of the seventh, and now the Mets DH, J.D. Davis. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. Hitter, J.D. Davis. No one out now. Mac back to work. Late with the swing there. 0 and 1. 
And here it comes. Bounce to the right. Over to first. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets now the defense work behind him with another field. ground ball. Louis. Good execution. Robert. So digging in, Luis go, Robert. In there, and it's 0-1. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. And the 2 Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two gone. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Alonzo. Here's Pete Alonzo. Good contact guy, good defender. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Plays it one here. And a swing and a miss, and that will end the inning. Nothing doing for the Mets. They continue to trail 7-0. Welcome back. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. The shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Hey, let's go right here. The wind of the pitch. Swings through that one. The pitch. And that one off the outside edge. And the right hater deals. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. That one down the line. Takes it himself, oh. and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the now eighth. Batting. The left fielder, David Dahl. David Dahl up now for the Mets. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. One down. One down. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Second baseman, Jonathan India. So up next for New York, Jonathan India. First offering, and it just misses. Plays at one now. And oh, there's a the ball. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. and oh. the count two and one swings through that one for strike two 
2 2 now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that is that. Down in order go the Mets. Steep hill to climb. It's a 9 0 deficit. We go to the ninth. Now, here is Brett Beatty. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. There's the strike. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Left-hand hitter waits. Stays alive. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Here's the 0 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. Well, they got him swinging with the knuckleball there, and I feel this guy's pain, Boog. I just have nightmares about the times that I had to face Tim Wakefield. Not good numbers, and if my career was based off of that, I would have been in AAA. And stepping in for New York, Francisco Alvarez. And that's in there for strike one. Here comes a pitch. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two away down. Up next for the Mets. The right fielder, Roger Berry. Roger Berry up now for the Mets. In the air, left field. Makes the catch. Ball game. And the Brewers get a shutout on the mound. Really incredible performance on the mound. You know he's going to stew a little bit over that one hit that he gave up because when you look at the body of work so dominant, if he'd have made just one better pitch, perhaps he'd have a no-hitter. So Singy, as the numbers show, a great performance on the mound in this one. Absolutely, and that really set the tone from the beginning. A fantastic effort. 9 nothing. your final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.